The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. More than half of married adults in the U.S. report that a satisfying sexual relationship is crucial to a successful marriage. But what happens when the intimacy fades away? Our next guests know this struggle all too well. My wife doesn't seem to want to touch me, kiss me, or even have sex with me at all. Sexually, I just don't want to be there. It's heartbreaking. It's frustrating. I don't understand it. Two and a half years ago, I met my wife. I absolutely fell head over heels for her. After a few months, I proposed. And I said yes. After we got engaged, I got pregnant. I was happy. I was excited. A few months later, we got married. The wedding day is the first day that I started feeling nauseous. When the officiant said, you may kiss the bride, I almost threw up. I was nauseous and repulsed by the kiss. And so I did make it short, and I did pull back. On our wedding night, I knew something was something was wrong. I held on hope. I was like, after the baby's born, things are going to get back to normal. You know, have that that fire, that passion that we had when we first met. It never came back. We have tried gels. We have tried herbs. We have tried toys. Nothing has aroused me that we have tried. Today we are on four weeks where we haven't barely touched each other. We cuddle. We hold hands. The line is usually drawn when I feel he is expecting to go farther. I feel like I'm just living with the roommate that I share a bed with. It makes me question whether we're right to be together. It's not like I want to have sex with other people. There's no desire to have sex whatsoever. Not with any other human being, not with my husband. Brandon and Angie both join us, and I want to thank both of you for opening up, but I want to ask you, Brandon, in particular, how much it affects you not being able to be intimate, and what do you miss most about being intimate with your wife? Yeah, I really love my wife. Um, I think the thing I miss the most is the, the passion and just the desire um, to be together, and there's nothing there, and, uh, you know, it, it hurts. And Angie, I see that you're tearful as well. So obviously this disconnect is hurting you. How do you, how do you feel when you hear what Brandon is saying? Um, it's actually really heartbreaking because I just, I, there's something wrong and I don't know what it is. If, if I could fix it, I would. But for, for both of you, I mean, there was a point where it was there, right? At one point, yes. So it's, it's not like it never existed. So it's there. It just needs to be found again. The two of you both want this to work. Yes. Yes, we do. And Angie, you still love your husband. Absolutely. And you would love nothing more than to get to a place where you could be intimate again. And I think this whole concept, I think, is important for people at home to think about in their own lives. And you may be asking, is there any help? Is there anything that they can do? 